Hello, this is Mark Tedonio from learningexchange.ptc.com, and this tutorial is using the reference viewer to display paths and investigate circular references in Creo Parametric 1.0. First, we must open the reference viewer. To do this, I'm going to expand the base subassembly in the model tree, right click on base part, scroll down to info, and choose reference viewer. For this example, I'm going to leave all the reference filters alone. Now I want to continue this path, so I'm going to expand the base scale part, then right click on base pub and set as current. Notice in the path overview it now includes the current object and the previous object. Similar to the last step, I'm going to right click on the base extrusion and set as current. Now you can see it is added to the path overview. The last path I'm going to add to the path overview is the base CRV sketch. So I'm going to right click and set as current. Notice that when I click on an object in the path overview, the selected object is highlighted and becomes the current object in the parent and child graph. Next I'm going to show you how to find all the paths between two objects. So I'm just going to close this reference viewer and now open up a new one. Now I'm going to right click on the drive train scale part, scroll down to info, and open up the reference viewer. Now I'm going to click on the actions tab and choose find paths. Now the find path dialog box is going to open in the corner. It is currently asking for a destination so I'm going to expand the drivetrain assembly in the model tree and choose the motor part. And now that that's selected I'm going to click find paths. Notice that there are now three more reference paths added to my path list. Path 1 is from my previous example while paths 2 3 and 4 were all obtained using the find paths feature. To save a reference path, click on file, save paths, and now you're going to be prompted for a name. Paths is fine with me and then choose OK. The paths file is now going to be saved in your working directory. Now that we saved the paths, I'm going to show you how to load them. So first I'm going to delete all of them. Click on file, load paths, and then choose the paths file we just saved. Now all of the paths are loaded into the paths list. Next we're going to find a circular path. A circular reference occurs when an assembly contains a number of cross references that form a loop. To find circular references when in the paths tab click on find circular paths. The circular paths are automatically found and added to your circular paths list. Like with the other paths, you just have to click on the path and it will bring it up in the parents and child display. Circular paths are already stored in the working directory by default. This concludes my tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This was Mark Tedonio from learningexchange.ptc.com. Feel free to check out more content at PTC University or at learningexchange.ptc.com.